Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome to Let's Play. I'm Miles Dyer and today we are looking at Hellsweeper VR. I actually know pretty much nothing about this game other than the trailers which are totally badass and there's been a lot of hype around this game. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to Vertico Games, the publishers, for giving me this uh, game key so I could do this Let's Play. Um, this should be an interesting one because there's been a lot of conversation at launch around the different uh, levels of quality across the different uh, platforms and that. But uh, yeah, you're watching this in 1440p. People think I'm spoiling you. Um, but yeah, I uh, thought I'd do an extra um, Let's Play because I won't be doing any this weekend because I'm on vacation. Um, and so to get a bit of a tan before I go abroad, uh, I thought I could go into the bowels of hell. Um, but I have to say, firing up this game, I'm on the menu now, and I might have to turn the gamma up or wait and see, uh, or, or down even, so you can see more in the dark. Um, but going into the game, already the menus are incredibly low quality and shimmery, which I've always felt this. Look, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what it looks like to you. There is so much shimmering. And this is just like a flat texture, um, which is not very, uh, it, it is very concerning. So, um, okay, let's go in. Customize my avatar. Let's have a look. What kind of. And I will be on Gamecast later, yeah. Uh, right, comfortable or moderate? I love that you go not comfortable and horrific. It's moderate or comfortable. Um, yeah, that's what I want. Genuinely, I couldn't even read that bottom text. Uh, okay, that's good, that's good. Here we are. A human soul. A soul to receive the hell's Accept the Hellsweeper's blessing. May the lands in Clayton Peel open before you. I can't give a thumbs up. I was going to say, hit the like button. But maybe if I do that... <laughs> hit the like button, everyone. Do subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, prologue. There was a bit of stutter there. So, oh my goodness! Accepted the true vine's terms to repent through the bloodshed of Aaron D. Okay, what you can see on the social screen the is not what I can see. I, shall be your guide, I think it might be better me playing it like this. Yes, me, the beetle. Hmm. Now, put me in your ear. Okay, this is funny. 
In your ear. In my ear, I try to. There we go. That's better. Not been in a fresh canal for centuries. Now that we're one, I can show you the way as a wisp. Summon me with a flick of your wrist. Hold the old two. Easy peasy, isn't it? Now, to summon. Follow me. Okay. Now it's click turning, which I definitely want to turn off. Let's have a look here. Options. So I like at the beginning it gives you options like do you want, and then it doesn't let me do anything more speci specific. No. No. Is it in general? No. Visuals. Okay, am I being an idiot? Is there no... There's no smooth turning. Ugh! All right. I mean, this looks like a cool, like, environment. It just, it looks so blurry to me. Actually, my hands look all right, but all this looks terrible. Push the, even the text is hard to read. Push the RS, the right stick left and right to turn 90 degrees. Yeah, all right. Oh, no, free rotate. There you go. Oh, I like that you said that. <laughs> I spoke too soon. There we go. These are all the cracks of it all. There are cracks the of it after between heaven and hell and earth. Okay, there we go. To reach the next side, this is a cool tutorial. I like this. Uh, you'll need to form a double jump. Okay, so two jumps. Oh, okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, no! You needn't rely on sin stepping. Oh, it won't now let me finish it. Beckon. But that's kind of cool. I'm trying to work that out, actually. Okay, maybe I... Yeah, I needed to go a lot steeper. Okay. If you are experiencing motion sickness, enable tunneling. No, don't need that. This, Yeah, I mean, these environments are cool. Oh, that's awesome. Right, what do I do? Ah, do I high five it? Stonehenge's first gift. Pick it up. Unlock conjuring sword. Okay, confirm. And then I choose where I want it. Uh, I guess up. Right time we had some fun, El Sweeper. Conjure a blade. Direction of the sword's conjuration depends on where it is equipped. Hold the and then. S ah, oh, okay, that is so cool. Great. Now let's see whether That's you awesome. How Look how many swords I've got. <laughs> Do you want a sword? <laughs> that feels awesome. In you. Can I? Okay, by swinging downward with a sword at a nearby enemy, you can perform a strike dash towards it. Okay, I've just got to be careful with my microphone when I do it. But it's only when the enemy's there, I'm guessing. Okay, see, I can't read the text there. I can read it about there. Strike dash works with any melee weapon. You can also update this later. Oh, the way it comes to you as well. That's awesome. Hello, mate. Anything you want to say to the live chat? Yeah. Everyone hit the like button. Everyone press the like button, please. Cheers. You've done well. You hear that, everyone? When a severed head tells you to hit the like button. Do it. Do it. Your left hand's wrist watch shows your health red. 
and mana blue. It displays your current objective too. Follow the waypoints. Oh. Another gift awaits the pistol. Okay. Mm. Okay, pistol down. Summon it a few times to get the hang of it. So it's and it's that's awesome. So I've done the sword up because you're like you're bringing the sword up like that, and gun is like you're picking up from your side. That's what I thought about. Okay, reload the pistol quickly by flicking it to the side. It with your hands for more rounds. That feels amazing. Flick your wrist outwards or manual hold and swing down. Hold and swing down. Flick your wrist outwards for quick. Or swing down to conjure bullets. Load these. I'm oh, both of them, is it? Oh, there we go. So I got. Wow, okay, that's cool. So what you do is you hold the trigger down on both hands, either side, and then you can just put them in like that, and that feels amazing. What's this like? Can you pick it? <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty horrible. Horrible looking thing. Cool. That's really cool. Um, oh, we've got this one here. Time to pierce their bodies. Um... A lot. This way. Okay. You'll have more time. Can I hold it two handed? Later. Yeah. Let's That's move awesome. on. That's awesome. Time itself is cramped in the lands in Twain. Some call it hell time. Hell time. Okay. Harness hell time to evade the assault. Ah! Awesome. All clear. We're almost at the end. What's going on? Do I just stay in the middle, I guess? Nice. Well, I tell you what, the sounds, the mechanics, everything feels amazing. But my goodness, it looks terrible. Again, like, the environments are amazing. It's just, I can't believe how low resolution the game is. It's like playing a PSVR game. Tip, strike an enemy with the hilt. I didn't know it was called the hilt. That is the hilt, everybody. Did you know that? Did everyone know that? I didn't know that. Um, oh, and you can do it with the pistol as well. And I didn't know it was called the hilt of the pistol. I thought it was the butt. Will break their guard and uh, when they're in a blocking state. Two-handed attacks will also break their guard. Okay. I assume something's going to spawn here. Hell sweeper. Come at me. <laughs> Can I go up there? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> you like big hilts and you can't at that. That was one for the books. Blood. 
the blood on my face. Enemies may stab you and leave weapons stuck in your hand. Oh. <laughs> Ow, that's nasty. I didn't realize that. So pull out the weapon. Yep, you get it. Oh, I thought you'd have to pull it out. That would have been cool. Stone hand to collect your reward. Right. Levitation. Support. Okay. What am I going to do? Press cross. Levitation. You have to remember this one. If it glows, it floats. Point your hand at a nearby object. Yeah, and it glows. Levitate it. Okay, that's cool. And then to hold. Is there another one? I like this. That is super Asha cool. Itself is at your mercy. Okay. This feels amazing. Crops of hallow. This one should drop a key. Break it. I need a key. Ah, oh, you can make that levitate as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm, loot. Loot and power. All the more for your courage. Skill obtained. Fire magic. Uh, okay. Fire magic Elements. to the right, to the it's right. It's easier to start with fire. See, so I can't read that, but look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Now go God, that, the throws feel good. Slay all that come before you. and enable cool moves like somersaults in advancement. <laughs> okay. You have reached the end of the prologue. Enter the portal to exit the level. How far can you throw it? Bye-bye. How's it looking, everyone? It's not too dark, is it? Ah, the flower of farewell. Death or no beginnings. Doesn't really matter. Watch them grow like weeds. Fancy that. I had the exact power. amount of XP for level one. I like that you talked British. Like a regular British person. Welcome to the Hall of the True Vine. Dude, sweeper. I cannot believe how blurry it looks. This is horrible, man. on the right. And the it's like I'm looking flat. through treacle. Take a look and make yourself at. Oh, look at my legs! Look how they're walking. Hee 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 hee! That's so funny. Look at my legs! Look at my legs! Can I moonwalk? Cool, it looks good. Oh, we got a broom. There you go. Do a bit of cleaning. Dee 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 dee. dee. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Like looking at yourself in the mirror, huh? Are you are, are you ticklish? Are you ticklish? How about under the arms? Hee. <laughs> How about here? No? Back of the hands? Alright, never mind. Alright. Okay. Right, let's have a look now. Roguelike. Okay. But I wouldn't mind doing the advanced tutorial. Oh, this is nice. It's, what should we name him? What should we name him? Here Don't skip the lessons. Here we go. Sweeping hell ain't easy. I've watched many before you fail. Let's do this. 
Do I go in there? Now that you know the basics, it's time to progress to mastering more complex and rewarding movement mechanics. Oh, this looks good. Wall run. Increase mobility by using vertical structures. Push the right stick forward and aim the surface of a wall at an angle. Oh, I see it there. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Okay, let's go there again. Let's do it like there. <laughs> okay, that is sick. That is awesome. That is freaking amazing. Okay. I love that, yeah. An another nifty movement to master is when your feet are off the ground is the air dash. You can also update this later. Guess I want advance. Okay, when you're when you are in midair after a jump, push the left stick. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, wait. So you can't air dash off the wall after doing that. Oh, you can, but you, you're getting a lot of speed anyway. Okay. Um. Oh wait, they need me to get them, do they? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about the double jump. All right, look at that. Sliding out, uh, allows you to easily move out of harm's way. To slide, you must first physically crouch down to get the indicator. Okay. Okay, that didn't. No. <laughs> Okay. You can adjust the slide at desired crouching height. I'm not seeing the indicator yet. Oh, that thinks I'm crouched now. No. Oh, yeah, I saw it there. Okay, it's not crouched yet. So I bring it down until... Okay, it works there. So it's... Okay, there we go. So that should be it now. I don't know, though. That's not... That's not... That wasn't sliding, though. I mean, it was just telling me how to crouch. I don't know. Small jump is quick and easy move to aid you during fast-paced combat. Bind small jump to your favourite button. You can also update this later. So dash, bullet time. I guess that then. Okay. So... Okay, X. Yeah, that makes sense. But how... How do you run? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Uh, to form somersaults. Okay. Okay. So... <laughs> okay. I love it. You may feel discomfort. Okay. Here we go, guys. The direction of the somersault is based on the direction of the jump. So to form a somersault, raise both hands above your head at the height of your jump. 
Whoa! Oh my god! That. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay, I genuinely felt tripped out then. That because I'm I'm pretty hardcore when it comes to VR, like in terms of movement. Um. Okay. Okay, there we go. Wait. Does it just do it slow like this the whole way? Okay, that is unbelievable. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is... Okay. Okay, that's awesome. That's amazing. Right. Let me just have a look at controls. I don't know how. So, can I run along here and then jump and then, yeah, go upside down? <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's all. Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> okay. That is amazing. That is amazing. That, this is like, because I never played Sorrento. Maybe swing my arms to run, yeah, maybe. Let's have a look. Nah, I don't know. Okay, so we've done don't that. The lessons. Sweeping hell ain't easy. I've watched many before. Right, let's just go in now. Let's let's go in and work out the rest. I know there's more tutorials, but that that is awesome. Okay, normal. We're we're gonna do what is there? Beginner, friend. Oh wow, friendly. Beginner will be leaning only at the start. Okay. What do you reckon? Try a new strategy or play it safe? Here we go. Act one. After every attempt, I'll go and do another tutorial. Look for the stone hammer to collect your starting skills and rewards. Okay, I'm running by default, yeah. Okay. Is this levitation yet? Okay. Okay. Yeah. God, I'd love it if I died from the start already. Okay. Oh, I've got this as well. Blessing. Okay, select a blessing. You can remove unwanted blessings later if you want. So, do I want stakes height, increased damage for five seconds when hit, or reduce mana cost of movement and bullet time? I want that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Sword up. We're going to do that. Surely you don't have to do this every time. Okay. Here we go. What does everyone make of this chat? I mean, this is... I'm having a good time. Even though, like, the fact that the game looks as... This is honestly one of the worst looking games, like, in terms of resolution on PSVR 2. And yet, I'm having a blast, which makes me think what it must be like... If I actually... Yay! I was in luck. What? You can do two? Does that mean you can... Oh! Fuck yeah, guys. 
So I want to, I want to try this actually. You can reload them, and you can shoot them like that. Okay. What I want to do though, is I want to try. Okay. <laughs> is some assault an ability? Okay. Come on. It's not letting me somersault. Maybe somersault's an ability. I don't know. Shot crystal. How do I bring it in? I thought. Because it's like... Oh wow, you can do that. Come on, let me, let me do a somersault. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that is absolutely badass. But Jesus Christ, you feel it in your stomach. things close to me once uh <laughs> jeez the backflip was sick man okay what have we got here so fire what's this alt alternate fire I mean, I'm going to be using this gun a lot, so... You can now perform alternate fire using your pistol by tilting it to the side. Fire one with one hand and shoot a ricochet bullet. Okay. When using alternate fire but with both hands, it will fire a homing bullet that chases... Oh, okay, if you've got your hand... Got it. Oh, shit. I was trying to... Going to hit the boxes open. This is where your hard work pays off, L Sweeper. Obols are for the basics, but if you want something okay. special, you'll need to spend some souls. And don't forget. Okay, no I refunds. got some souls. Okay, and what is this? Increase max health, that's going to be useful. Let's just do that. Okay. Okay. Oh, I've got a really itchy nose. It's not good being in hell if you've got an itchy nose. I was hit, I was pistol whipping it. I've just forgotten how to, um... When you're using Levitate. 
how to um Oh it was L3. Okay. There we go. You can fight, run or hide as long as you stay alive. Oh. Okay. Let's do it again. Oh, come on. Go on. <laughs> I just want to do backflips unless there's some kind of cooldown. Oh shit. Okay, you don't die, that's good. Okay. Okay, there's walls to run along here. in all these keys. There's nothing I can use them on. You say make sure to shoot the totems, but... Oh, do they give stuff other than... Oh, they do give you... Yeah, you're right. They do give you, um, not just keys. Yeah, I think I think the social screen makes it look a lot better than it is because it's absolutely terrible in the headset. Um, it doesn't. It looks like I'm looking through treacle. Everything looks really shimmery. Okay, come on. There must be some. chest there. So depending on what key it is what it's going to give me on the inside, I'm guessing. So like this is a green one. Some of the chat agree with me. Hello, hand. What up? New power, new tactics. You want a beer? There you go. Right, what we got? This is going to be increased damage. That's good. Unlock rock split. Oh. I'm not happy with my fighting at the moment. I'm playing absolutely terrible. But, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning. More of them. And the Watch thing is, back. when you play so many games... Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that levitating one. Goodness. Oh, 
Oh, the gun's broken. That's why. That was awesome. Do a barrel roll. There you go. <laughs> How's that? Yes! Beautiful, look at that. Nice. Wish I could. Conjuring a fire. To the right, to the right. Love this. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's the next move now, sweeper? Weapons feel just great. What we got here? So, we got an improvement. To the Blade Wave or Flame Vortex. Let's do that. Your flame magic is now high enough to conjure... Flame Vortex. To conjure Flame Vortex, swiftly merge two fireballs together. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. How's everyone doing? Well, for those that are just joining and want my impressions so far, the game, like the world they've built, is epic. Like, it's an amazing looking area. If it wasn't for the fact that it feels like I'm looking through Treacle, the, the resolution is like the worst I've seen on PSVR 2. Like, I'm not going to start naming other games, but I, I think you can imagine. But it's, it's not switched back all over again. Um, this is way, way worse. Um, but gameplay wise, it's an absolute blast. The Pro Volta holds untold riches. Unlock them by gathering the missing puzzle pieces as fast as you can. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Right. Let me, let me do it. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm getting attacked. Leave me alone.
What is that? Oh, it's that up there. Yeah, that's it. Time. Oh, what happened? I didn't do it in time. It says objective complete. Okay, but it wasn't technically complete, was it? I was meant to do it at a certain time. Someone's just asked me what I think of the game so far. You can literally scroll back two minutes and you'll get my initial thoughts. Um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, having an absolute blast with this game. It's really, really fun. But looks terrible not in terms of the design the world building this is all amazing but it, it's like i'm looking through treacle which is a real shame cheers can't blow a tune on it Oh, back here. Mm. Right, what we got? Well, I was wondering how much I was going to have currency. So I assume the bottom currency, with the red in it, that is going to be currency that stays with you if you die. Uh, it being a roguelike for upgrading your character, maybe. Um, right, so we got sword stuff. We got... Add a random trait. Interesting. This is for increased mana... Unlock rock split. Uh, okay, unlock blade wave. Let's yeah, let's do let's do this. You can now use your sword to conjure a concentrated blade of energy called blade wave. Hold while positioning your sword horizontally across your chest. Once the blade glows, swing outwards and release it. All right. But you got to release it. Or do I not? Is that what I'm going to do? I'm going to let go of it? Look at that. Oh, mate. Oh, there we go. So I do it without letting go. Nice. Cool. Let's have a look. What else we got? Health increase. Yeah, definitely take that. Ten percent increase. Let's let's get a random trait for this. Here we go. Split fire. Flamethrower will unleash an additional stream of fire. Or increase damage. Let's increase damage. Awesome. And then... Oh, I could almost afford everything. But, um... Here we go. Oh, looks like I'm against the boss. Right. 
I can't wait to learn and like be an absolute don in this game because at the moment I just feel like I'm getting I'm like a walking punch bag. <laughs> Backwards. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, can you go away? Yeah, I know. Destroy all corrupted totems to stop the demon horde from snapping at your heels. Health's doing okay. My health's all right still. Okay, oh, that was cool. Right, let's um, shouldn't do it while I've got that in my hand. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you can go up here. awesome. But obviously that uses mana, I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> can you can yeah someone's asking can you uh, combine the bullet time I just love that you can levitate stuff no I think the it, it slows you down in the air anyway. Shit, I hit my green screen. The fighting feels amazing, though. It's like... This makes me want that there to be a... This makes me want there to be an, Eld an Elden Ring VR game. Because... I don't think so. I was wondering about that. Yeah. 
Oh, hello. Right. No, I wanted... Oh, it was that, wasn't it? Let me... It is... That! There we go. Get to reload manually in battle. You can't. That's a strong box. Just checking out my green screen was doing because I hit it behind me. It's because I'm quite close up to it. Oh my god, <laughs> running backwards, I'm so... I've got to get used to all of this. I remember Brian saying that eventually you forget about the graphics, like, and it's so true. The gameplay is so amazing. Wow, all this stuff I didn't even re notice before. Um, okay, we've got some keys to use over there. Objective. That's cool, it tells you that. Add a random trait. I don't know what rock split is. And let's do it. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do it to the gun. Here we go. Compact magazine. Laser sight. That could be really handy. There's only one way to find out. And then... Oh, they level up. Okay. Increased damage buff by manual reload and increased damage. Well, we won't get. Hello. How are we doing, chat? We're doing good. We all doing good, everyone? Hope you're having all a good day. This is a. Uh... Oh, man. There are so many good games on PSVR 2 feel completely spoiled. I guess this is what I need. Announce your presence. Oh, hello. The lasers are going to be very useful. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, 
I just wonder if it's quicker to reload to actually just let go of the guns and do that again. Shitters. Nah. Why increase the magazine side if I'm going to be less accurate? It kind of cancels each other out. Man. I feel like I'm supposed to... These ads are going to keep coming, so. And I'm barely making damage on the uh, boss. I'm supposed to die. Pulsing. No, there we go. There we go. Bullet time as well. Oh, is that right? There we go. Thank you for the tip. Oh, my health's come back. That's good. I thought I was... Um, I didn't know how I was going to recover health. Oh. But now I'm almost dead again. Come on. No, I haven't. <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, Let's see if I can throw that. Oh, I did hit it. That was a bit greedy, but... they should burn if they're made out of wood. Right, is something as small as that going to do it? No. Go, 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 go.
But what would you rather have? Not that it should be this choice, but would you rather have a game with great graphics but terrible gameplay, or great gameplay and terrible graphics? For me, this answers the question. Come on. There we go. Just let's take one of them. No, that didn't do enough. It's gonna need to take more than just uh There we go. Right, here we go. Come on. <laughs> this is unbelievable, guys. This feels absolutely ridiculous. The idea that you're playing this... Ag playing this in a game would be amazing. But to play it in a VR game... I'm about to die. I know I kept saying that, but it's actually... Yeah, there we go. There's my body. Bye-bye. But the fact that you're playing it in VR, flipping backwards and that, is absolutely incredible. That's one of the most VRAF things I've ever experienced. This is this game is incredible. Like, with the big caveat, it looks like when when they when they when they get the graphics fixed, this is going to be a top contender. Um, but, you know, I'm just giving my initial impressions. You know what, I've played this for, what, an hour, an hour and ten minutes? But my first impressions are, this is really good fun. I just can't believe how terrible it looks. Because it's clear that the world that you're in looks great. The true vine might be a bit miffed with you. Indeed. Yeah, I didn't jump around enough to avoid people and stuff. Ah, sliding. Yeah, that was the thing I was trying to work out. Um, okay. Right, let's have a look here. So these are... Maybe starting abilities. Right, let's do Don't another tutorial. Sweeping hell ain't easy. I've watched Companion. before you fail. Hellhound will join you as a companion. All right. Inward. Look at this! I remember you. You were at the base. And now you got a little friend. Hello? Hello? This is amazing. Here we go. Actually, no, don't, 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 don't jump over. Don't jump off that. Oh, you want me to actually throw it? Fetch. Come on. Ah, oh, look, look. Jesus Christ, that scared me. The Hellhound responds to its squeaky toy. Press. Oh, I've got to squeak it first. Oh, anyone would have thought I've never had a dog before. Okay. Here it is. You ready? There you go. Ah. Oh. Here we go. Can I take it? Look at the head. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, dogs do get stuck in weird places. Right, let's have a look. You can infuse the hellhound with magic. 
Squeeze the toy to summon the owl and then throw a magic ball for it to fetch and eat. There we go. Oh, you wanna you wanna play with the sword now? There, there. I'll let you have it. You have it. You've earned it. And I'll have this. No? You don't want me to have this? Yeah? You wanna trade? Alright, give me it. And then you can have this. There you go. There you go. Look. There you go. No, oh, no, there's your toy. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, spawn enemy. Hell yeah. That's it. Get him. Oh, look at that. Absolutely sick. Hey, I got you something. I got you a nice, nice little leg, or an arm, or whatever it is. No? You want it cooked? Look at that. Wow, look at that arm. Skip the lessons. Sweeping hell ain't easy. I've watched many before you fail. Support skills and melee weapons. Let's have a look. You don't need support crystals to start the tutorial. We've done this before. And we'll do this one as well. Concussion blast. Oh, I see. It depends on what one you... Okay, you only do one at a time. So... Blast on street radius blast is performed by pushing towards the ground while holding. Wow, okay. Hold down, like actually pushing down like that. That's awesome. This is the part. Wow. Okay, and then obviously I know what this one is. I have to say, throwing, the throwing stuff is... I'm actually quite surprised how good it is. Oh, yeah. 
I assume you can't punch enemies. Nah. Okay. And then melee weapons, we've already sort of played out, but I'll have a look. We'll just go through all these. Don't skip the lessons. Sweeping oh. hell ain't easy. I've watched many before you fail. Basic. Oh, well, there's a load to go through here. Basic magic advanced. Okay, that's cool. Well, we won't do that then. The thing I will do before we end it is um, just go over here because this is what I was talking about. This is the uh, credit that I assumed you invest. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just XP, is it? Okay. Got it. So this is what you can unlock as you go up the levels. All the way up to 25. And it gives you permanent stat boosts. Cool, and it tells you your most preferred skills and that. Awesome. Well, listen, everyone, we're going to leave it there uh, just because I have to get ready for Gamescast Live uh, and then packing for my vacation. Uh, and then I've got a flight to catch. But um, listen, everybody, um, a huge thank you, everyone, for joining me. Look at this. Go all the way up here. Whoa. You got there? Of course you can. This is Hellsweeper VR. And uh, for my final thoughts... Um, as soon as I went into the game, when it comes to graphics, you can tell a lot just by the titles when they come up with the, um, even if it's not like a, the actual game title with, you know, maybe a lot more going on, but when it's just like white text for like, you know, the publishers and things like that, the resolution was terrible and I was really worried. And then when I looked at the menu screens, uh, it didn't look great at all. And as I as as I look right now, this looks shimmery. Um, it looks like I'm looking through treacle. This game is the is in terms of resolution is the worst looking PSVR2 game I've played yet. And I hate to say that because that was what you notice when you first play a game. You notice the graphics. And uh, actually, looking at my headset now, yeah, what you can see on the social screen looks awesome. I would be very happy if I saw that compared to this uh, in inside the headset. So, you know, those were my initial impressions. But actually, you know, getting on and playing the game, um, this is a lot of fun. Now, I'm curious to know how much fun this will be for people that don't have their VR legs. Because I think to really make the most out of it, you want to be doing all the backflips and things like that. I mean, can I do it while... <laughs> I just look so stupid doing it. Maybe you have to do it when I get the, uh, the weapons over here. There we go. It's just the... I mean, that stuff is just... Feels amazing. I want to do it one more time. I'll do it up here. Oh, no. <laughs> Not down there. Yeah, I have I have a friend who used to get motion sick on quite a lot of VR stuff, and now he takes all the comfort settings off. So there we go, and it's like while doing that, is just. It's incredible. I mean, honestly, I can't wait to play this game more. Uh, and I can imagine, you know, for me, VR 
this is one portion of VR games I like. Some of them I like for escapism. Some of them I like for serenity and chilling out and just, you know, having a nice, like, calm experience. Others I like social interactions. But then there's a part, kind of like the Doom games, it's that power fantasy, which I don't... I always feel a bit cautious when I use that terminology because power fantasy would could suggest, oh, because killing things makes you strong and, like... Um, that's what makes you epic, and like obviously I don't think of like that in real life. Um, I'm not a fighter or anything like that, but it is just like a form of escapism that you're the hero of this story, and the fact that you get to like flip over and do all that stuff with guns is just like unbelievable. Um, I can't wait to learn it more and more, and you know, running across walls and things like that. So um, yeah, um, listen. The, the 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 style of everything is is clearly beautiful, which makes it even more frustrating that the um, the resolution is so bad. Um, but the game feels great, the haptics are great, and I can't wait to learn you know a play style that's going to best suit me, and you know just really grind it, you know, in, improve my character's abilities, um, and uh, get to a point where I'm able to maybe do another live stream and just look completely badass, like from the movies and things like that. But having pl fought some of these enemies, it did make me think I would love to play um, a Dark Souls game in VR. Um, make it happen, make it happen. Um, but yeah, wow. Um, so I feel very conflicted about it. But at the end of the day, the gameplay is amazing. And... Uh, hello? Um, yeah, I... The question is, do I want to keep playing this? Absolutely. The question I do have, though, and I felt this with other games in the past where they've had graphic issues at launch, is do I want to wait and experience it in all its amazingness once it gets the patch that fixes the resolution? Because I am going to enjoy it loads if I do it now, but I'm going to enjoy it a hell of a lot more, excuse the pun, if I wait. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. But the point is, I'm having a great time and I would love to keep playing it now. So um, that's something I'm going to have to have a think about. But anyway, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I know that there's been a lot of contention um, with online discourse about the release of this game. Understandably, because, you know, you have to put your money... Uh, sorry, you have to put your hand in your wallet and, you know, decide where you're going to be spending your money. There's a lot of games to play, and so when you buy a game at launch and it has issues like this, there is a real quality control question of, like, how, how was this allowed to be? Um, but, you know, um, despite that, it is still a really, really fun game. Um, but would love to hear your thoughts, so let me know in the comments section below. And uh, if you have played it, if you're thinking of getting it, um, and obviously what you thought about uh, what you saw on the stream right now. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me in the live chat. It's been nice having your voices in my ear, joining me on the journey. Um, and to everyone that's watching on replay, I always appreciate your support as well. Do hit the like button uh, on your way out. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified about all future Let's Plays because I'm on a mission to Let's Play every single PSVR 2 game out there. And at the point of this recording... We are about to enter October once I get back from vacation. And for anyone that knows me, I am terrible with horror games. And so October is going to be a real treat for you because I think normally when I play a horror game, it's, oh, I'll do it, you know, once a month. Give, give some space in between. Nah, that's not going to be happening. It's, uh, it's going to be like two or three a week. <laughs> so it seems. Uh, so anyway, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.